This little white tablet is more explosive than dynamite. Sermons have been preached on it. Men and women have argued over it. I can't believe that she's ours and that she's into in our lives. Fantasy is fantasy and it turns us on. They can remain in your head or sometimes you can actually make them a reality. It's, it's a crucial thing. I want to keep my fertility. In France, they call the moment of attraction coup de foudre, or a lightning bolt. In Arabic, it's hawa, a wind. In China, yuenfun, a faded force. And in Japan, they say koino yokan, the feeling when you meet someone that you're bound to fall in love. How do I know if I'm attracted to someone? Um, it's just kind of this like magnetic, <laughs> like it, it's just kind of like, I just feel drawn to that person. When you're attracted to somebody, you shouldn't really be able to explain it beyond just like I'm attracted to them, right? It should just be visceral and you should know it. We're not sure why this shape became the universal symbol of love. But one leading theory is that it came from the Silphium pod so valuable across the ancient Mediterranean. It was printed on the currency of the only place they grew, the Greek colony, Cyrene. It was exported around the region for all kinds of medical uses, and one in particular. Sornus of Ephesus, the foremost gynecologist of his time, advised women to drink silphium juice once a month, since it not only prevents conception, but also destroys any already existing which means our modern heart shape may derive from an ancient kind of morning after pill. The top of the cervix actually has a lot of muscle that does contract. So that's what made us start to think, okay, well maybe this is a sphincter. And so that actually completely changes the map that we're working with to understand what goes on in pregnancy, because in women who deliver early, that cervix starts to open prematurely and it might actually be a sphincter that's relaxing too soon. But why that happens in one patient over another, we don't fully understand. Mechanics obviously play a really important role in pregnancy. I do need an engineer to help me understand how strong is the tissue. We can run what if scenarios. So what if the patient has a short cervix? Will her cervix open if the baby kicks or if there's a small contraction? Can that cervix mechanically withstand, you know, the loads of pregnancy? We should know those answers. You know, we're curing cancer. We should be able to understand pregnancy a lot better. Male germ cells in the testes don't start producing sperm until puberty. A germ cell divides into two identical copies. One keeps dividing, and those cells become sperm. But the other stays a germ cell, so they don't run out. And a man can produce new sperm until old age. But in a female fetus, those germ cells in the ovaries start turning into immature eggs right away. A 20-week-old fetus has roughly seven million of them, but they quickly start wasting away. A female newborn is left with about two million. And by the time the first one makes his debut in puberty, she's down to three or 400,000. And then every month, one egg is released and a thousand or so more die off. And that's why most women have a much harder time getting pregnant after 40 and are pretty much out of eggs by the time they're 50. Doulas aren't doctors or midwives. They're trained birth coaches, there to support the laboring woman and help make sure her wishes are being respected by the medical provider. You're so strong. Look at you. A number of studies have confirmed the presence of a doula reduces the need of interventions, finding a 51% decrease in C-sections. But I think it's partly just that it's nice to have somebody in the room to say yeah this is this is normal like this is this is okay like everything is going going fine and i think that that part of labor is quite can be quite scary we almost there sweetheart we are almost there and the natural childbirth movement's underlying message continues to resonate around the world that women should make their own choices based on what's best for them. On TV, low sperm count is often treated as a joke, like the risk posed by hot tubs. Mr. Truman? Yes. We need to talk about your sperm. <gasps> I knew it. It's the jacuzzi at the gym. He boiled them, didn't he? And too tight underwear. 
Look, you gotta help me. I have to get off jockey shorts. We have a low sperm count? <laughs> Very low. An excessive masturbation. Sample hardly had any swimmers. That's probably from excessive masturbation. The guy's been outpacing his ability to produce sperm. Daily ejaculation has no major negative effect on semen parameters, as in sperm count or quality. As for tight underwear, one study found semen parameters gradually decreased while the subjects were in tight conditions, but they gradually increased while they were in loose conditions. And the wet heat of hot tubs can also temporarily lower sperm count, but only DJ Khaled levels of jacuzzi time could do that. For the record, DJ Khaled's sperm seems totally fine. See, he's got a son. Scientists figured out how to hack the male reproductive system decades ago. And large trials in the 1970s showed some promise. The perfection of male birth control seemed right around the corner for decades. The Chinese have developed what they say is a safe and effective birth control pill for men. Medical researchers reported today they have found a chemical that may hold the key to a male birth control pill. International research teams are working on an injectable birth control pill for men. Men are taking part in the first trials of a new form of birth control. For men. Birth control for men. Male birth control. Male birth control pill. Male birth control may be one step closer to becoming a reality. But it never arrived. Since trials were often cut short, because men face too many side effects, side effects that might sound familiar, like mood swings, acne, and a loss of libido. When approving a drug, the FDA weighs its risks against the risks of not taking that drug. And men, unlike women, don't personally face the risks that come with pregnancy and childbirth, like blood clots. Male birth control just has to meet a higher bar, and drug companies aren't sure male birth control has a market to make that worth it. I'll be open to it. Does that make me, like, less of a man? I don't know, but I'm, I'm open to anything, honestly. If guys had the option to, to sort of take that level of responsibility, like, leveling up from just using a condom, I think that would make it a fairer conversation. It takes two people to accidentally get pregnant.